A category requisition is used when the item is not on the catalogue. We do this through basket entry on the web basket menu. Here you enter your requisitioner code and your requisitioning point before clicking the next button on the right hand side. Next we need to search for the category we require. You can find your category code through different methods. Firstly, using the drop down menus in the category folder on the left hand side. Navigating through the options below. You can also use category assistant found on the web basket menu. You can also search the same way as you would for catalogued items. For example, we will now search for seating. Once the search is complete, we have been given a few catalogued items that are related to seating, but not what we require. So instead, we go to the tabs at the top of the page and click the one on the right hand side that says category. For this example, we will select office seating. When we click add, we will get a dialog box that will allow us to enter the details of the item we require. In the notes section, you enter the product details. For this example, we will assume you have been given all the detail you require to process the order. The format you need to send your orders is in all capitals. First of the product code, then the pack size, and finally the description with any other detail. Here, we are entering the product code, the pack size each, and office chair with adjustable height and other features. Finally, we will add a quote reference. This lets the buying team know that this price and detail has already been looked into and that the order can be processed without much investigation. Next we add the supplier. You can do this by clicking the magnifying glass and typing the name. Next is the quantity and then unit price, which in this example we know to be correct. Once the details are correct, you click OK and this will be added to your basket. Next, we will add a line for carriage by searching either the word carriage or the code ZWC. If you are aware of the carriage charge, this needs to be added as a separate line. If you do not know if there is a carriage charge, you do not need to add an extra line. Go to the category tab and select the category you require. In the description, in capitals again write carriage. Add the same supplier as the previous item, then the quantity 1 and the price of the carriage before adding to the basket. Now we will view the basket by clicking view basket on the left hand side or on the trolley icon at the top of the screen. Double check the items are correct before clicking Requisition Summary. Here you will see the supplier, number of lines, the total value and that the requisition requires authorization. If this is correct, click Complete Requisition to send this order. This brings up the details of the order, including the requisition number, along with the details listed on the previous page. As this is a category requisition, after authorization, this will go to the e-procurement team to double check the item and to send the order off to the supplier. 
we are now going to create a new requisition. We once again enter our requisitioner code and requisition point. Next we are going to order a desk. We can find the category by using the category folder on the left hand side or by searching for the word desk. Once this is loaded, we go to the category tab on the right and then select the category code which we require, which is desks TUE. Click add on the right hand side. This time we do not know the exact item we require, so we provide as much detail as possible as to what we are looking for using the same format of pack size then description in all capitals. We can add here an example of the type of item we are looking for, whether this is a website address or a product code. Please bear in mind that we cannot order this order from .com companies and we will only tend to use authorised suppliers. On this occasion, because we do not know the supplier, the box can be left blank. Next is the quantity and finally the unit price. Because we don't know the price, we have to enter a maximum value you are willing to spend on the item. This is so the authorizer can authorize this amount of spend as a maximum. If you enter a value less than the cost of the desk or zero value, your order will be rejected and you will be asked to amend it. Now we click OK and then View Basket. Here we check the details of the order are OK and then click Requisition Summary. This will give you the detail of the order. You can now click Complete Requisition and you will be given the requisition details such as the requisition number and who will be authorising your order before it goes to the e-procurement team for final checks. Here we are going to create orders for services such as train tickets, hotels or maintenance. This can be done using basket entry. First you enter your requisitioner code and then your requisition point. You will need the category code for the service you require. If you need help with this, please see the Find a Category Code video or see the FAQs. On this occasion, we are going to type in Travel Services, which is the title of the category we need, or search for the category code ZXS. Once this is loaded, click on the category tab and click on add on the right hand side of the category you require. In the notes, in capital letters, enter the names of the passengers, single or return, the departure station, the arrival station, departure time and arrival time of the outbound and return journeys. Remember, the more information you give, the easier it is for the e-procurement team to process.
Next, enter the travel services supplier the trust uses, if you know it. Next is the quantity, which is always 1. And finally the price, which is the maximum value you think the tickets will cost, as this is the amount of spend you will be authorised to use from the budget. When complete, click OK. This can now be processed as you would a usual requisition. Once authorised, the e-procurement team will be in touch to let you know the PO number and details on how to book your tickets. This is also the same method used for hotels. In the case of hotels, once again, please remember the more information you give, the easier it is to process. Next, we will create an order for a service, Website Maintenance. Here, I will search for the word Website to find the category. Website Development and Maintenance in the Category tab. In the notes section, enter the details, again in capitals, of the service that you require. Enter as much detail as you can to help the e-procurement team deal with your request as quick as possible. If you know the supplier, you can search using the magnifying glass icon. Once again, we will use a maximum value of spend that will be authorised by your budget holder. Once you click OK, you can process this in the same way as a usual web basket request. This method is the same for all services. If you require additional assistance, contact the e-procurement team using the contact details at the end of this video.